is almost out. Bushcraft Sanctuary. Got the dinner. What's up, baby? Finally home from uh, our trip out to Weekapog, Rhode Island. And uh, I just finished up cleaning up all my gear. So I had to rinse out the wetsuit, the gloves, the bag, the flippers, the gun, all my shoes, the blade, the mask. It was all covered with junk. So that's a big part about spearfishing that I'm not a huge fan of. In order to get all this stuff ready to go and put it on and swim out is pretty taxing. But what I got here now, the fun part of getting back with your fish is actually gutting it and skinning we'll it. So, out. so we're gonna a little kill and grill. So we're gonna watch me uh, see if I can <laughs> attempt filleting. This is my first time filleting one of these guys. So um, we'll see how it goes. So I do actually have a um, a real cut go fillet knife, but honestly, for $130, I think it's like the shittiest knife on earth. So. I'm going to try to sharpen this guy up. It's a little bit flexible, but it gets a little bit more girth. So I bought this trihone. Um, I'm certainly not a wizard at uh, sharpening knives by any means. Um, we're going to try it out. They say basically do it like you're trying to like peel a cucumber. Hopefully I don't butcher this freaking fish. It just doesn't feel sharp. So if anybody's got any tips out there, what I'm doing wrong, gladly take them. I know you're supposed to like use a belt and all that shit to polish it and wipe it all off, but um, it feels pretty good. Let's get the fish. So, I um, sharpened the blade, I cleaned up all the edges on it. It's not incredibly sharp, but uh, hopefully it'll do. Um, so I'll grab the fish. All right, so let's see. All right. Turn the hose on. All right, I got my hose running, got my blade sharpened up. We're gonna fillet this guy. Hopefully we're gonna grill a piece of him. Nice and pink. We'll see what this guy was eating too. Interested to see what that is. Grill plate. Not doing too good. Let's see. Need a better knife. It's gonna go slow.
I'm sure a lot of people will be yelling at me online. That's okay. Play's not bad. I'm doing a good job. I'm trying to save as much meat as possible. Alright. Not a bad chunk of meat. Upside down. Oh, lost the blade. All right. Not terrible. Not perfect. But not terrible. So a little left a little bit on him in here. That's okay. So for my first one ever. Not bad. Now I've seen lots of tricks online about just grabbing the tail and then pulling it through, so we'll see how that goes. And then let the blade do the work. Apparently. I can grab it. All right. Not bad. My knife sucks. There's no question about that. So, not terrible. Not perfect. Alright, let's see if we get a little better on this one. future obviously a better freaking knife better sharpening now so certainly not a tutorial on how to flay striper and certainly not a tutorial on how to um, <laughs> cut and gut fish but first time for everything let's see if we can trim this guy up a little bit if I get this off and that's the hole right through his gut I'll probably take this little piece off here too a little belly fat don't want the belly gunk, but those don't look terrible. We'll rinse those off. Stinky garbage, no question about that. I gotta scale this bitch. Alright, so these are gonna get rinsed and we're gonna put on some ice. Alright, see you inside. Alright, guys, so I got a little chunk of my filet here. Put a little olive oil on it. We're gonna do a little pepper. Do some sea salt. Some garlic powder. I would use real garlic, I have it inside, but 
I just been spear fishing all day and drove four hours, so I don't feel like crushing garlic right now. Sorry. Going ghetto style. Onion powder. I got real onions. It'd be nice to do some glaze on them, but uh, again, drove four hours for a fish. So we're going to go ghetto style. Parsley flakes. I was at the store. I was going to put some cilantro and some parsley on them, but dry flakes are going to do. And we like things spicy in this house, so we'll get a little pepper flakes. And um, we'll do some lime on this guy. See how that goes. So we're gonna let them marinate in the fridge for a little bit, and then I'm gonna grill it. I have um, some sweet potato fries, and I'm gonna do cheeseburgers because my wife can't eat fish because she's very much so pregnant. So that being said, I'll see you back on the grill. Okay, so. Had it marinating for a little bit of time, you know, the lime juice it almost like made it into like a mini ceviche. So then I got my cheeseburgers here for or my burgers here for my wife because she's pregnant. She can't eat striper. Probably put this on a little bit later. Um, put the burgers on first because obviously they'll cook a lot quicker. I know a lot of people like putting stuff in tin foil and all that. I'm not a huge tin foil fish kind of guy, so. I say screw the tin foil. Alright, All right. so it goes. Alright, we've been on there for about two minutes now, so let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah! You guys want to take a look? Alright, we've been on about a mi I would say two minutes now. So we got our burgers going, obviously, and then here's our striper. Looking good. I'm going to let it get a good sick sear on one side. So that way when I flip it, because obviously I'm not doing any A-foil, and I'm certainly not going to uh, have this skin on it because I didn't feel like scaling it. So, we'll check back in a little bit. Alright, we're back. It's probably been about five minutes. We're going to see what we look like here. That's looking nice. I don't know if I want to flip it yet. We're getting some good char on the edges here. I just want to make sure that I don't lose any of it, um, but I think we're going to be okay. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes before I flip that one. I almost want to cook it a good amount through. It's not in an area where it's burning. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, but uh, I think we're gonna be all right. Time to get some cheese. All right, we're gonna go for our first flip. Hopefully I don't lose any of it. All right. Beautiful. Not bad. All right, we got it on there with some beef. So we're gonna flake it apart a little bit and see what it looks like. And um, try a little taste test. Beautiful, let's try it. Mmm. Wow. Simplicity is best. That's pretty good. Oop. Little bone. Not bad. First cut and grill of the striper. All right. Welcome back to Sanctuary Bushcraft. We're ready to go here. We got our sweet potato fries, homemade cheeseburger, and then we've got 
our striper that was swimming three hours ago. So nice and light tonight for our dinner. No buns. And um, thanks for watching.